Good evening. My name is Obin Dalko. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. I want to share with you briefly what I call uh, to succeed in any enterprise. You need commitment, you need process, and you need uh, skill development. To succeed at any enterprise, you need commitment, you need process, and you need uh, skill development. Uh, background um, sometimes uh, affect our perception of the, the the needed requirements that we need to succeed at anything you know so um, whether it's, it's a business that you want to set up whether it's a marriage whether it's a it's academics that you want to follow it's a career that we want to develop our background, uh, what I've seen is that usually uh, limit us as to the rare things that we need to to achieve uh, anything in any enterprise that we set uh, our mind to do. Majority of us, the only strategy, the only format, the only um, technique that we have, you know, the usual one is that uh, you know, most of us are religious, so the usual one is that God will help us. And to the extent that when you talk about skill development, when you talk about commitment, uh, when you talk about process, uh, m most people would want to tell you that, you know, it takes God for you to succeed. It takes God for us to succeed. And it's very common for anybody to tell us that it is God. And that is what they have pushed on us. But there, yes, it is God. All ideas, you know, emanate from God. All strength, or or all the things that humans achieve, there is definitely a divine source, which is God. I believe that. But I think that what we call God, and what you call God, and what somebody else calls God, may be the the the, the difference. Because I think that if I say that God is responsible for becoming successful at anything i am looking at his 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 way of doing things i'm looking at his ideas i'm to, i'm looking at his principles i'm looking at the path that he has set for things to work so for instance um god said that if a man and woman meet and the, the woman takes a seed usually it should take nine months that's a way of god you know or maybe uh, it rains on the land and, 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 and trees get to have some water to, you know, or the things that are set by God, the laws, you know, the law of gravity, that if you, if you don't bath, your body will stink. There are a lot of things that are set by God. And so when, we, when it comes to succeeding at our enterprise, when we say God, I want to hear or I want to see it as you following the things that God has set in place so that we succeed but usually that is not what we mean what we mean is that you just will be there and one day something else will happen and we will succeed and then we will say that it took god you know it's the grace of god it took god i think there is a bit of misunderstanding in that and people think that when you don't talk like that it means that you are not a christian i don't see it that way i see it as that's why most people don't dare to achieve a lot in life. That's why most people give up when they set out to do something. That's why most people are naive uh, as to what it takes to, to become successful at anything. Because for you to achieve or be, succeed at anything, it will require a lot of commitment. A lot of commitment. Because the forces that will come against us are so many that... You know, if you if you are not really, really committed to you succeeding, you will give up. And that is the that is the fact of life. And so when when most of us start anything, and we meet the challenges, we tend to give up because the challenges become many. And then you know, people who are religious will say that you know, if God was in it, then you will not meet any challenge. That is not really the case. The case is that for you to succeed at anything, you will need to be resolute. You will need to be to have a stamina. You will need to uh, to have a state power. You know, staying power to keep at it. 
when others are falling off you keep at it and the commitment will require an investment of time from us it will require even the resources the resources that we have the money that we have for instance if you want to build a business it is going to take a lot of commitment from you you would have to sacrifice a lot of things for you to see success in that business it will take time from you the things that you could do before now you cannot do them this business is on our mind every day now to the average person he will say that why are you worrying so much why are you worrying so much is is god who blesses that's why most people who are really religious don't achieve much especially in a part of the world because the under their understanding of what it takes to succeed is that something will just pour from the air and then they will just grab it you know there's some favor somewhere that is going to come from heaven then they will they will, they will, they will just be successful that is not really the case any any significant achievement will require you that you stay committed to it when everything else is falling you still keep going that is how people succeed and so when you have the understanding that you know if your religious understanding of god is that he does everything for you then when you try to start something and you push and it's not coming you will give up because your understanding is that you know god will just show up and everything will be clean <laughs> if you set any significant goal for yourself if i set any significant goal for myself it is going to take it to it, it it will take a lot of effort it, will, it is going to take a lot of energy it is going to take a lot of time it, it is going to take a lot of engagement from my part for me to succeed and at anything whether uh, anything that we have we see in this life anything that is dear to you anything that you want to achieve in this life whatever it is whether it's an exam that you want to qualify whether it's a craft that you want to learn whether um what is it it's a political career that you want to be in it whatever it is it is going to take a lot of commitment a lot of focus for you to achieve that success that you set for yourself and so if you are not able to disabuse your mind of what it takes for you to succeed you will think that enduring the pain enduring the struggles are not part of the journey no they are part of the journey if you see anybody achieve anything they have to endure a lot of pain a lot of negatives and a lot of opposing forces the opposing forces could come from anything it could come from the people around you it could come from the country you live in it could come from lack of infrastructure lack of systems lack of transparency it could come from your own naivety your lack of skill it could come from anything at all which will become forces between us and getting to our goals between us and, and succeeding and so if you don't have a, a, a clear understanding of what it takes to succeed you will give up you know so most people start something and when it's not going the way they thought it will go they give up they give up it's because they don't understand that for you to achieve anything in this life you are going to need a lot of commitment when everybody gives up, you are at it. When everybody is saying that it's not going to work, you stay at it. When everybody is saying that uh, this thing is, is too much, it's too much painful, it's taking a lot of your time, it's taking a lot of your energy, it's taking a lot of your money, it's taking a lot of disagreement, a lot of fight from everybody. That is how it takes to, to succeed in this life. That is what it takes. And so if you are the kind of person who believes that everything else will just come and you don't have to fight for anything, you don't have, just have to put up with anything, if it is yours, then it will just show up, you will not achieve much. You will not achieve much, especially if it has to do with business. Uh, no, a lot of things will be thrown at you. The only way that you're going to succeed is that you decided not to give up. You are committed to achieving the goal. You are committed to building the company. You are committed to making sure that you succeed. And so everything about you was geared towards making sure that that thing becomes successful. So the business that you, you are building, everything about you will demand that you focus on that. If you don't focus on that, you cannot be committed and not focus. You know, you cannot be somebody, let's say you, 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 you want to start as an entrepreneur and you want to start with 10 businesses at a go and you have never done one. No, focus on one. Put all your energy in one and make sure that one starts to make sense, that one starts to succeed. And before that one starts to succeed, you would have known or you will know that you, you had to put a lot 
a lot of energy a lot you have to endure a lot and enduring or putting in a lot of energy a lot of creativity a lot of knowledge a lot of uh, all the things that uh, achieving anything requires you know will require that we show that kind of commitment Com commitment is actually possession it's obsession it's actually like you being possessed you, you that's the only thing that you breathe that's the only thing that you think about because you want to make sure that it succeeds so if you don't exhibit that and you are the kind that you just spread your energy everywhere uh, being committed will be very tough for you and so whatever that we decide to 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 achieve in this life it is going to require us to have the commitment if you don't have the commitment <laughs> it will be very tough for us to succeed and sometimes it's not just that it's difficult to achieve anything just that we had wrong understanding what of of the things that those things will take for us to succeed so my name is Obinda Oko. I'm talking about um, if you if you have to succeed at anything, at any enterprise, you are going to need commitment, you are going to need process, and you are going to need skill development constantly. You are going to need these things for any endeavor. And process is you understanding the stages between the things that you have set and you achieving them. There are processes. The processes are the things that will that will get out, you know, the the the, the trash in you, the naivety in you, the, the the assumptions that you have, the myths that you have about the the goals that you have set. The processes will check, you know, will mail out the the, the the things that you did you don't have to have to get to the goals. And so, if you need, if you see anybody who are just placed at anything, you know, they just jump in and put in at the top position without going through the process. When you when they get there. The thing collapses on them because be, before you can keep anything at any height you should have gone through the process to have that strength to keep that thing at the height and so business or or marriage or any endeavor would 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 want to process you would want to process us that's the nature that's the law of nature you know you would have to go through that so that when you are there you can take whatever bullets whatever positions that you meet if you did not go through the process to be at that position, when you get there, you mess up. It will destroy you. You know, so so to succeed at, at, at anything, we need strong com commitment. And then we need to go through the process. We need to go through the process. If you are going to succeed at any endeavor, you need the process. You need it. I remember when we started, uh, you know, our businesses. Uh, the things that we didn't know, <laughs> we thought that within six months we will succeed. You know, <laughs> it took six years, seven years, and we still try because we had to go through the processes. If somebody just had to give us two million, three million, four million, build an office for us, buy vehicles for us, give us business, and we had never done anything, those things would collapse on us to collapse on us but if you had to go through the processes gradually to understand to acquire the knowledge to, under, to acquire the wisdom to, to acquire the understanding of how to run that thing when we get there we would have accumulated the money we could, would have accumulated the network we would have accumulated, accumulated the expertise that we would need to run whatever that we had to run at what stage and so you if you are not committed to anything if you don't understand what it takes for you to go through to 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 get to your dreams you're just dreaming if you think that you just achieve anything just one day you just jump in the morning and everything is successful you are daydreaming every achievement is done stage by stage every achievement any victory any success that you see anybody that you hear all the top rich people that you hear unless they somebody be quit it to them if they were the ones who had to build that business, who had to build that uh, endeavor, who had to build that um, uh, wealth, they had to go through the processes. And they showed enormous amount of commitment. And so your understanding of, you know, the, the, the way they have told us how God helps us, that virtually has taken the sense of commitment, the sense of process out of people's mind. Because if, that's why they wait. That's why people are waiting for miracles. That's why people are waiting for prayers. That's why people are waiting for all kind of things. Why? Because the understanding of what it takes to succeed is is just uh, magic, you know. So you see the guy who is playing the lotto all the time. He thinks that the lotto will make him rich. <laughs> uh, if you if you if you get the lotto right, if the, you chop the lotto and they give you ten million, 
and you have no financial understanding you have no financial knowledge you have no understanding of how to handle this 10 million that you have dropped you know the lotto within two years it will destroy you it will complicate your life it will some people will even kill you because you will not even know how to handle that money so to for us to succeed it's not really just about the, the, the resource it's also about the processes it's also about the commitment that we have to show and so if you see somebody with commitment if you see somebody with sense of understanding of what it takes to go through the process you don't need a prophet to tell you that if that person has that they will succeed they will succeed so it's not so much about even the conditions and where we were born and what parents we had if we had the understanding of commitment if we had the understanding of what it takes to be processed towards your dream we will succeed but most people are not commitment are not are, are not taught to be committed to anything they are not taught to understand that between you and the success that we want to see there will be a lot of trouble there will be a lot of trouble this is life this is reality if you don't want trouble don't set any goal for yourself the moment you set go the moment you say that i want to marry the moment you take that woman to your house after the wedding that's a trouble that you have gone for <laughs> the moment you say that i want to become a millionaire that's trouble that you have gone for the moment you say that i want to become an mp i want to become a president i want to have i want to become uh, the ceo of that company you have set trouble for yourself it will take a lot of guts it will take a lot of diligence it will take a lot of resilience if you're on the spotlight, the heat is on you. If they put you on the top, anybody can kill you because you become open. That is, if you were not processed. The wisdom to be at that position, if you didn't go through it, the enemy will take you out. And so the, 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 the wisdom of God or the wisdom of nature is said that you don't just have to be jumped to be there. You have to be tested. You have to be qualified. We have to be proven. To be at any stage and so when you are trying to achieve anything and you meet the difficulties they are just the very things that you needed that's what most people don't know they are just the very things that we needed to have the nutrients you see um if you give birth to a child there are some basic nutrients that the child must have if you don't give that nutrient the feeding the, the food if you don't give that nutrient or those nutrients to the child the child will never grow in terms of health they will not develop the immune system that will be required you know for the child to to grow and and, and to withstand diseases and so the commitment is a requirement so that you can withstand <laughs> the viruses that will come the processes that we have to go through they are requirement and so it's not so much when you meet the difficulty when you started the business you needed the finance and you went to the person and they said that they don't have it it's part of the game it means that you don't have the network to raise the money you know so now you have to go through the processes to raise the money and so maybe you needed one million to start that project you, you call everybody they didn't they didn't say anything now you want to start a project you have never done it and you want to raise one million no you probably have to raise ten thousand <laughs> you go through the process and when you have done ten thousand maybe you go to hundred thousand you go through the process then next time when you want a million it will not be that difficult but some people would want you know they are ambitious they believe in god they pray all the time so they have never done one million before they say that they can do 100 million and they talk in faith that is against the law of nature because you have to go through the stages you have to go through the processes after time after a while there could be exponential growth but the basis you would have gone through it so without commitment no goal will be achieved without commitment there's no success in business without commitment there's no success in family there's there's no success in marriage there's no success at anything because most people who are lazy will never be achievers and if you're committed you understand that it takes processes to succeed so when people worry about the disagreement they meet the pain the struggles no oh, it, it, it's just part of life it's just part of life you should not you should not if you if you want to try anything anywhere and they try to frustrate you it's just part of life it means that there's something that you don't know you know that's why you are calling it frustration but the moment we start to understand it we see that we needed to go through those processes so that when we get to that position we'll be able to do the right things and so the other one is the skill development it's constant there's precision before there's resource constant persistent resource is dependent on precision and without skill development there's no precision 
if you don't develop the skills that we need everything that has the everything in this life that requires success needed a particular skill everything so the guy with a lot of money if he's an honest person has some skill to get that money the guy who plays the football and scores all the time he has a skill and that skill was built on the commitment that you showed to the training and the commitment that you even showed for the processing and so th without skill development there's no there's no there's no resource we can score you see the people who play the top football they are skilled they know where the position of the ball is they will score why because they have gone through it so if you want to achieve anything it's not just going to happen it's not just you get jumping and and sitting in your room and saying that i'm going to be successful <laughs> no 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 the proof of what you're saying is seen in your commitment to your goals it's mean it's seen in the processes that you are enduring and it's seen in in the skills that you're developing it's not just the talk a lot of people just say it that's why we delay in this life most people are are not conscious that they are growing you know, a lot of us, it's in, innate in all of us to become successful at something. All of us, we want to become successful at something. But we don't remember the ingredients, or we, don't, we are not even conscious of the ingredients that we need to become successful. The ingredients we need? Commitment. Absolute. You stay with it until you get the results. No matter what, you want to stay with it. They cheat you, they lie to you, they take your money. For instance, if you want to build a house, maybe in Ghana, you want you bought the land and the guys ran away with the money. <laughs> you got another one, they ran away. Maybe you're even your brother could not with them. Those are just part of it. But your commitment is to own a house, you know? And so whatever that you have to do, they chop the money, it's dangerous, it's painful, you are not happy with this. But that's how it is. So you still want to own the house. What do you do? You find another way. And you find it another way means that you're getting closer to how to get that house built. And so maybe maybe next time you not give that money to the same person who cheated you, you know. And and the gathering of all those things that you're doing, you know, you want to build a house. The gathering you call this guy, you go, it becomes a scale. The next time you are building your second house, it will be so much different and it will be so much easier than the first house. Why? Because that's how it is. It takes those things. It takes commitment. It takes the process that you have to go through. It takes skill development for us to become successful. And so it's not just the talk. It's not just the talk. And, and most people are just waiting for God in their room. Most people are just praying for God to help them to succeed. That's what most people know. Our biggest approach, strategy um, as, as, as Africans is that we just, you know, they told us and we all believe that, that uh, for you to succeed, it is God. It's in the hands of God. You know, and you hear nyame be nyame, nyame, you know all those things. It's good, but it's misunderstood. In this ed, on this ed, there are principles, there are laws. If you don't fall on the good side of the laws, you will not achieve anything. You will just be achieving very little because you are not living with that consciousness that it will take commitment for us to succeed, and that there are stages for anything for instance there are stages in a business life there's a place where you are burning the idea there's a place where the idea starts to make sense there's a place that the business starts to grow you know there's a place that you start you see that the business starts to expand in every way and there's a place that is the business can stagnate if you don't rejuvenate you know and there's a place that you can see that the business starts uh, to go down if you don't do the things well so there are stages same with even friendship there are stages where you meet somebody one day you start to talk you know and there are another time that you get you start to share personal things with another time you know there are stages in everything and those are processes that we have to understand so the same is with life i mean there was a time that you were 10 years and you were in the primary school and there was a time that you were 20 years you were in the secondary school or the university and there was a time that you happened to have a woman and maybe a man and married <laughs> and uh, you know there's there, so there are stages of everything there are stages in this life there are stages there are processes i remember when we were doing uh, process engineering they said that uh, the product the product is as quality as the processes so the process is not so much about the product if the process is wrong the product will be wrong and so the consciousness is not so much on the product it's what the process 
the quality of the process that we go through, the quality of the trainings that we go through, the quality of the of the persuasions that we have, the quality of the knowledge, the quality of the understanding, our exposure will predict our results, the quality of the results that we get. And so uh, it's not so much about the results, but the processes. If you get the processes right, it's more likely that we will get the results rightly. So my name is Obinda Ako. I am sharing, I'm sharing with you briefly what I call uh, to succeed. You will need a, uh, to succeed at any enterprise. You will need commitment. You will need a process, and you need uh, skill development. And so any any endeavor that you want to see success in, there will be skills that you will need. If you if you don't have that skill, the results will not be consistent. One 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 day. You win uh, several times you lose because the, you don't have the required skill i don't have the required skill and that's why there's a time for training that's why there's a time for processing that's why there's a time for training the time that time makes us you know to get skill because until you get the skill the best sages they are skilled they will do the right thing to make sure that whatever they have to do is done rightly the best uh, uh, bankers, they, are, they have the skill. The best politicians are skilled. It's an endeavor. They're skilled. They know what to say to the people to win the election. They know how to lead. The best leaders are skilled. Everywhere that you see performance, delivery, productivity, there's a skill. There's a skill that somebody else has. And every skill that you have is an, is an investment that is you have put in yourself. Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take your skill from you because it's, 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 it's a product. Skill is a product of, of, of investment that you have made in yourself. Your persuasion, your knowledge, the things that you put in yourself, the things that you have trained with, they become a skill to you. The way you do your things will be entirely different from the way I do my things. Because all of us are gifted differently. And that is the investment that we have. And so the way I talk, the way I smile, the way I dance, the way I think is entirely different. If I get the right knowledge and what I want to do with my life is entirely different from the way my brother is will even think or want to want to do with his life. So if I set a goal, I want to build businesses and I have the mental processes, I have the, the way it is it is it has to be done. And I get the right information, the right training, the right knowledge, they stay with me. If I am in charge, there is a way that I will deliver it. If you move me out, you put another person there, that person will do it differently. So your skills are really part of you. If they move you out and put another person there, you see the whole thing will change. And so our successes are according to our skill level, our precision. If you move our president there and you go to put another person there, his decisions will be different. His decisions will be different. Why? Because those are all coming from skills. And so if you're going to achieve anything, be committed to your goals, the things that you have set for yourself. Absolute commitment. Don't just quit on it. Don't just quit on that, that idea. You may redefine that idea, but don't just quit because you just put in two months. Some people just put in two months into something and they just quit. No, you need a lot of hours for any idea to prove that it doesn't work. And you don't need less than five years to prove that, especially business idea does not work. And so when you start the business first year, you don't see anything, you don't quit. Second year, you don't see anything, don't quit. Third year, you don't see anything, don't quit. Give yourself five to ten years. That's where you start to understand what you're doing. So don't quit. Even in the marriage, the first two years, if it doesn't work, don't quit. <laughs> Continue. Maybe in the fifth year, ten year, you start to understand who, who you marry. And so it's the, it's not, so the problems that you will meet, they are not unique to you. They are not just unique to you. It just they are just to extract. You know, they they take the roughness from you. They take the the, the raw data from you. They take the things that don't work from you. The, the the problems that you meet and the problems that you're going to meet. That's why you need the commitment. You need the absolute obsession with your dream, so that you can you can see the results. And so if they if you see that's why our misunderstanding of what it takes and what God is. In terms, when it comes to succeeding in this life, has made a lot of people average and poor, because they hang their life waiting for somebody else to pray for them to become successful. They hang their life so that somebody will just pour some anointing water or anointing oil on them. They hang their life so that the malam can give them a magic number so they can take the lotto and win. 
they hang their life instead of them committing to a particular goal. So if you commit to your particular goal, you will succeed. If you commit to any goal, you will succeed. Any goal that even those who want to kill people, when they commit, they will succeed. It's as bad as it is. And there are processes that they understand. And there are skills that you develop. I remember when I was doing postgraduate and they asked me, uh, so after this, why, why are you going? I said, after this, I'm going back home. He said, ah, why do you want to go? I said, ah, but what do I have to do here? <laughs> and the, guy, the professor didn't understand it. I said, what do you want to do? I said, oh, no, maybe I, I, want, to, I want to see if I, I can build business. So wow, okay, all right, okay. What kind of business? So maybe real estate or construction, something like that. Did I know what I was talking about? No clue. Had we done some things? Yes, we had done some things, but they're entirely different from this. Did we, when we started, did we understand what we were doing? No idea. But we didn't give up. And where did that strength come from? That strength of not giving up, that strength of staying committed, came from the daily information that we are acquiring, the reading, the knowledge, the training, the, 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 the continuous development. You know, we were, we were looking for information. We were reading books. We were, we were, we were listening to people who had done it. So commitment does not just happen. Commitment is going to happen when you are continuously upgrading your knowledge, upgrading your understanding, upgrading your underst the way you look at what you're doing. If you're getting more knowledge every day, you are becoming better. And that's where you're going to commit, you know. If you don't renew your mind every day, if you don't read books, if you don't get fresh knowledge, if you don't train yourself, you will not be able to commit. Because it's not just committing, but it's you getting close to achieving the goals. And you are only getting close to achieving the goals, not just because you're stubborn, but because you are getting a new knowledge every day. You are upgrading yourself, you are building yourself, you are becoming better. That's what it means to commit. So it's not, it's not just stay there. It's not just stay there. You stay there without, without becoming better. So, you, so last week, your understanding of the business that you're doing cannot be the same as this week. Last year, the way you understand your business or you understood yourself cannot be the same as the way you understand yourself. The way, last year, the way you understand the woman cannot be the same way as the way you understand the woman this year. If that is the case, you are not committed. And that's where the break will come because you are not applying the grease. You, are not, you see the, 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 the gears, they are turning, the, 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 you know, the two meta uh, uh, body parts, you know, they are turning, they, 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 they go against each other. The only reason they continue to go without sparking uh, fire is because they put some lubricants on it. The knowledge, the understanding that you're going for every day is the, is the water or is the lubricant. Because there's rubbing, there's pressure, you're producing heat without the required knowledge required understanding that you're growing every day in you will give up because the heat will explode <laughs> so when we talk of commitment we're not just saying that just stay there stop on do nothing watch tv and chew gum and think that you're committed no that's not commitment commitment is also proven in knowledge acquisition in, in constant self uh, 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 development you know and that will that will help you to understand the processes and that will help you to upgrade your skill and then you see that you're getting to the goals you're getting to the goals and so it, it gets to a point it's not even so much the difficulties that you meet because your muscles would have been built so much that yes the problems will come but now you're not scared you're not you're not deterred of the problems because that's life you have you now understand that every stage every time that you decide to go to the next stage there will be problems and that you are built for for, for the next challenge, you know, you're built to take up the challenge. You are not scared. You don't mind. You know, so you're not the one worried and crying every day. You don't cry over pettiness. You don't cry over position. If people are giving you a problem, don't cry. No, don't worry. Don't weep. If it's between you and your destiny, it's between you and your goals, don't cry. Don't break down. Push. Continue to grow. But the best form of strength is the knowledge that you're acquiring. And constant, constantly going for a better knowledge and make sure that the knowledge that you go for is not the one that is making you a victim. It's not the one that somebody is going to tell you that there is a demon somewhere that's responsible for the difficulties that you're meeting. That makes you weak and that's why you will give up. And that's why most people give up because they are not building the strength within. The commitment is you can only apply constant pressure because the strength is coming from within and that's, that strength is when you are developing yourself constantly. When you're developing yourself constantly, 
that's how you stay with it and that also makes you understand the processes that you have to go through to get to your goals to get to building anything to get to building your family to build in your career to be you work somewhere and they always give you trouble don't worry continue to read continue to build yourself continue to expand your your network don't worry don't worry don't, the, you see you can hear the noise when you are at the same level when you raise the bar you don't hear the noise when the people are talking trivialities you can only be concerned because you are the same level with them or probably below but the moment you jump <laughs> and you jump in understanding you jump in the in the quality of knowledge that you acquire the way you look at life if you're constantly upgrading it the noise will never get to you the noise when the people say everything is tough you don't hear it it's not because it's, the thing is not tough it's because you have you have lifted your your game above the toughness and then somebody is complaining every day but you don't see it because you are operating with a higher knowledge higher understanding you know so uh, stay committed to your dreams stay committed to the process and constantly develop yourself constantly if you want to succeed at any enterprise any enterprise any enterprise and these for me are the laws of god and so if you say that you're waiting for god to help you to succeed for me these are the tenants you go for them you get you get to have them Stop waiting for magic. Stop waiting for miracles. Wait, stop waiting for something to happen so that your life will change. You have, if you are 30 years, you have seen that your life changed because you stayed with something. You committed to something. You had, you had the money because you did some business or you worked. Things are not just going to change just because it's going to change. Things are going to change because we change them. We change them. And, and you better set serious big goals for yourself so that you can push most people set little goals for themselves very little very little very little they just want little out of life if you're an african you cannot want a little out of life because there are so many people who need us so you cannot just set a little goal for yourself you and your wife and your children no there's so many who need us you can build a hospital you can build a school you can build a city you can build businesses and employ people you can you can buy medicine and go and give it to a whole psychiatric center. You can build roads. You can build whatever that you want to do. You can build planes, cars. Africa needs a lot to be done. And so we cannot be a generation of Africans who are only looking at our little, little selfish interests. No. You can be the next man who is building all the cars, the new cars that we can use to carry people. You can be the next uh, woman who is building a whole prison center that is carrying thousand people were kept you know or you are building for your village or for your country you are building clothing companies you are building all kind of things this is the africa we need so you, if you're an african you cannot be limited in terms of your vision because we are the only ones who have to build our continent and that will call for commitment that will call for us going through the processes and that will call for us skill development constantly skill development and so when i see an african who is trying to celebrate their success i weep a lot because if our success is nothing based on the masses of our people and what we have to endure with if you go through anywhere any neighborhood anywhere if you have thousand you can put three people in school there's no point for any child not to go to school because their children their mother don't you know their, their parents don't have money or people sleeping in kiosks it's unacceptable and yet the key is in yourself is in me if we have money you can build three bedroom for 20 people that will be an achievement you can put 10 people in school you can go to the prisons and go and give them books you know or go and build a whole unit for them these are the things that all of us would have to think of and so i wonder why people people are thinking of buying houses and cars when our people live in this kind of uh, uh live this kind of life sometimes i wonder why the so-called leaders uh, drive all these cars that they drive. For the majority of our people, go through so much pain. It will need us to be committed beyond ourselves. If it's just about your personal life and your family, you don't need what I'm talking about. But if it has to do with changing lives, doing something to change life. If it's one person that you can change, if it's two people that you can change, if it's three people that you can change, if there's a system that you can build, there's something that you can always do. For our country for our continent and this is why we are here and so thank you very much for watching 
thank you very much for watching so stay committed to your dreams to the endeavors that you want to uh, see realized in your life and make sure that they are commit they are connected to the prosperity of our continent to the prosperity of our people build businesses build hospitals become great in what you do and always make sure that you're living above your personal uh, you know uh, your personal goals and your personal endeavors we are looking for people who can change destinies of our continent you know and it's all over nobody else will build africa for us we have to and those who live outside the continent is our it, the owners is on us those who live here is on us is on us when we were children we had the same thing and now it's our generation what can we do to change it so thank you very much for watching thank you